Let's look at Chief Mate's MCA March 2016, question 1. It says, a vessel's present particulars are forward draft 7.862 meters, aft draft 9.244 meters, at an upriver berth in fresh water. The vessel is to proceed downriver to cross a sandbar at the river entrance where the relative density of water is 1.020. During the river passage, the following items of dead weight will be consumed. 70 tons of heavy fuel oil from number 3 DB center tank, 22 tons of diesel oil from number 4 DB port tank, 25 tons of diesel oil from number 4 DB starboard tank, 17 tons of fresh water from forward fresh water tank. Part A. Using stability data booklet, calculate the clearance of the vessel if depth of water over the sandbar is 9.456 meters. Part B. State the maximum clearance over the sandbar if the vessel is brought to an even keel condition by internal transfer of ballast. So to us, the forward draft was given, which was 7.862 meters. The aft draft was given as 9.244 meters. We can calculate the arithmetic mean draft of the vessel, which is forward draft plus aft draft over two. So simply we put in the values, which is 7.862 meters plus 9.244 meters divided by two we get an arithmetic mean draft of 8.553 meters. Now with this arithmetic mean draft, we will enter the hydrostatics to get our LCF. So the LCF at 8.553 meters, which we have got is 65.908 meters. This has been obtained from interpolation. The only way we can enter the hydrostatics is either by a true mean draft or a displacement. Since we didn't have true mean draft, we need to find it out. That's why we are actually calculating the LCF, which will further help us to calculate the true mean draft. Now, true mean draft is equals to half draft minus in brackets trim multiplied by LCF over LBB. We'll put in the values, which is aft draft is equals to 9.244 meters minus trim is equals to 1.382 meters. LCF is equals to 65.908 meters and LBP is 137.5 meters. With this, we have got our true mean draft equals to 8.582 meters and this is the true main draft of the vessel when she is floating in fresh water. With this draft we went into the hydrostatics and we did interpolation from which we obtained displacement at 8.582 meters which was obtained as 178.67.9 tons. The weights have to be uh, rounded off to the nearest decimal for the MC examination. MCTC at 8.582 meters is 202.4. LCB at 8.582 meters is equal to 69.319 meters. Now, in order to make the LCG table, we have to fill the initial values, the initial weight of the ship, the initial LCG. Since we didn't have the initial LCG, we will now be calculating the initial LCG by using the formula trim is equals to displacement times the difference between LCB and LCG over MCTC. Now here we have written LCB minus LCG. This is due to the fact that if we consider a vessel which is having aft perpendicular here, forward perpendicular here, and a point where center of buoyancy is here, 
and center of gravity is here, which is clearly evident that LCB is greater than LCG. Now due to this, the buoyancy force is going to act upwards. The gravity force is going to act downwards. This will make the vessel prim by stern. So if the vessel is primed by stern, that means LCB is greater than LCG. Since as per these drafts, it was shown that vessel was trimmed by stern. So we can clearly write straight away that LCB minus LCG because we know that LCB will be greater than LCG because of the diagram we showed here. We put in the values where trim is put in centimeters because any formula which we use which has MCTC involved, we put the trim in centimeters. So trim is 138.2 centimeters here. Displacement is 17867.9 times the LCB which we have obtained from hydrostatics is 69.319 meters. This comes here. The LCG is what we are trying to find out which is the initial LCG. The MCTC of the vessel which we have got from the hydrostatics comes from here. From this equation, we'll get the initial LCG, which is equals to 67.754 meters. Now we have all of our initial parameters available to us, which includes the displacement of the vessel and the initial LCG of the vessel. Now with these things, we can make uh, LCG and longitudinal moments table. So we'll now make the table for LCG which has the following columns. Description, weight in tons, LCG in meters, longitudinal moments in tons meter. So we will first make our initial entry. So the weight is 17867.9 tons which has been derived from here, the initial LCG is 67.754 meters, which we had calculated here. So we have got the longitudinal moments, which is by multiplying this number by this number. We'll then subtract the heavy fuel oil consumption, which is 70 tons. So the longitudinal moments will be calculated for the heavy fuel oil. Longitudinal moments would be calculated by multiplying the weight times the LCG of number 3 dB tank, which will give us this value. The LCG of number 3 dB tank has been obtained from ship particulars. We'll now subtract the consumption from number 4 dB port tank. So the weight was 22 tons and LCG of number 4 dB tank port is 35.66 meters which has been obtained from ship particulars. The longitudinal moments for this would be product of these two numbers. We'll then subtract the consumption of diesel oil from number 4 dB starboard tank which is 25 tons and LCG of number 4 dB starboard tank is 35.50 meters which has been obtained from ships particular and its associated longitudinal moments is 887.5 tons meter which has been obtained by multiplying these two numbers. At the end we'll subtract the, few, uh, the fresh water consumption which is 17 tons the LCG is 32.47 meters, which has been obtained from ships particular. And its associated longitudinal moments is 552.0, which has been obtained by multiplying these two numbers. The balance weight would be 17733.9 tons, which is by adding and subtracting all these figures and the total longitudinal moments would be 12044063 which is by adding or subtracting all these values we'll now calculate lcg final 
So LCG final is equals to sum of all the longitudinal moments divided by sum of displacement. So sum of all longitudinal moment is 120-446.3, which has come from there. And sum of all weight is 17733.9 tons, which has come from here, which has given us the final LCG as 67.915 meters. Now we know that the final displacement is 17733.9 tons and the relative density downriver is 1.020. So we will find out the values at the displacement of 17733.9 tons with RD 1.020 from the hydrostatic data by doing interpolation. We have obtained the following value, the true mean draft as 8.376 meters, the MCTC as 203.8, LCB as 69.412, and LCF as 66.039. We'll then apply the formula, trim is equals to weight final multiplied by LCB minus LCG divided by MCTC. We are using the formula LCB minus LCG because it is very much clear that the LCG which is 67.915 meters and LCB which is 69.412 meters. In these two values it is the LCB which is greater which also helps us to understand that the vessel is going to trim by stern because if this is the aft perpendicular and this is the LCG point G which is 67.915 meters and LCB is 69.412 uh, meters which will bring the buoyancy force up from center of buoyancy and the center of gravity weight would be weight force would be acting downwards which will help the vessel to go down by stern when we put in the values the weight is 17733.9 tons which has been obtained here lcb is 69.412 meters which has been obtained from here the lcg Final is 67.915 meters, which has been obtained from here, which has got us with the result of trim of 130.3 centimeters. Since we are using MCTC in the formula, so our trim would be in centimeters. So the answer is 130.3 centimeters. In other words, we can write it as 1.303 meters. We will now calculate trim aft. So trim aft is calculated by trim multiplied by LCF divided by the LBP. So trim is 1.303 meters, which has come up from this place. LCF is 66.039 meters, which we had interpolated and derived earlier, which is from this part. And the LBP is 137.5 meters, which has been derived from the ship's particular. The result of this equation has given us trim aft of 0 0.626 meters. Once we have obtained trim aft, we can calculate trim forward, which is equals to trim minus trim aft, which is equals to trim, which is 1.303 meters, which has been obtained from here, minus trim aft, which is 0 0.626 meters, which has been obtained from here. The trim forward which has been obtained is equals to 0 0.677 meters. After this, we will calculate the final draft. So for this, we had made the following column, which is the forward draft and the aft draft, both are in meters. We will first write down the true mean draft. So true mean draft was 8.376 meters, which is going to remain common for forward and aft calculations. This draft had been obtained earlier, which was here. Now, if you look at the diagram where we could clearly see that LCB was greater than the LCG, which helped the vessel to go down 
by stern which is means that aft draft is going to be greater than the forward draft so the trim is going to be added in aft and subtracted in forward so the forward trim is 0 0.677 meters which has been obtained from here and aft draft the trim is 0 0.626 meters which has been obtained from here so we have got our forward draft which is 7.699 meters which has been obtained by subtracting 0 0.677 from 8.376 meters and aft draft as 9.002 meters which has been obtained by adding 0 0.626 meters with 8.376 meters now it is quite clear that the maximum draft is the aft draft which has the value of 9.002 meters so we have written it here now we'll be calculating the underkeel clearance we know the charted depth as 9.456 meters which is given in the question and now we know our maximum draft which is 9.002 meters which is the aft draft when we take off the maximum draft from 9.456 meters, we'll get our UKC of 0 0.454 meters. So this is the answer to part A of the question. Let's look at part B of the question, which is state the maximum clearance over the sandbar if the vessel is brought to an even keel condition by internal transfer of ballast. Even keel draft of the vessel will always be equals to the true main draft if the weight is being shifted or an internal transfer of ballast takes place. That's why this part is inked in red. That means that whenever there is a case of internal transfer, then the true main draft will remain same. There will be no change in true main draft. So the even keel draft due to internal transfer of ballast will be equals to 8.376 meters because we are just shifting and not loading or discharging. This value of 8.376 meters has been obtained from this part. So the next step is to find the under keel clearance when the vessel is at even keel. So we know the charted depth, which is 9.456 meters and the even keel draft, which is 8.376 meters. When we take off 8.376 meters from 9.456 meters, we'll get the under keel clearance as 1.080 meters, which is the answer to part B of the question.